Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take both a static prop and a skin bone model complete with embedded animations from iClone into the Unreal game engine in FBX format. The static prop is the building you see here, and the skin bone model is the horse you see that comes embedded in iClone. Ok, so here in iClone I have the two props that I'm going to be exporting to Unreal. I'm going to click and drag this structure into 3D Exchange first. Keep in mind that you can also download any static mesh from the Google 3D warehouse absolutely free as well. I'll just go ahead and export this prop as an FBX right away. In the export options window, I need to make sure that I select the Unreal Game Engine in the Target Tool Preset drop down menu. Also make sure that Include Geometry is selected, then continue with the export. Ok, so the building prop is exported, now let's go ahead and do the same thing with the horse and drag it into 3D Exchange. Notice that the horse includes a single embedded motion, the Passade. You can preview this by double clicking in the motion library. Just make sure you add it to the perform list before you export. If you're looking for more horse motions, you can find them in the horse and tack content pack in our content store. You can also find a number of other horse motions in the marketplace as well. Ok, so I'll export this to FBX as well, and again make sure that I choose the Unreal Game Engine as the target tool preset. This time I'm going to include the geometry and animation as well, so I'll leave them both selected. Once you export, that's all the work you'll need to do in 3D Exchange, so now you can open up Unreal. Here we are at the default screen. What I want to do to import my content is first open up the content browser. After that I'll want to create a new package. Let's just call this one demo and go on to the next step. Ok, now with that package selected, I want to import in my first static building prop. Now on the Import Options window, I want to select the Static Mesh option. I also want to make sure that the Combine Mesh and Import Materials and Textures options are both selected as well, and then select OK. What I want to do next is go into the Static Mesh Editor by double clicking on the Mesh icon. Here you can take a good look at your imported prop, and move the light source around as well. Ok, so the first static prop has been imported successfully, so I'm going to go ahead and import in the bone skinned horse model now. Now when I import this one, I'm going to want to choose Skeletal Mesh as my horse actually has a bone structure. For this step however, I don't want to activate the Import Animation box just yet. However, I want to ensure that the Combine Mesh and Import Material and Textures options are both selected. Once it's imported, I'll double click on the Skeletal Mesh icon to open up the Anim Set Editor. As you can see here, there is no animation with my mesh, as I didn't import any in at the moment. So that's what I want to do next. I'll need to create a new anim set in order to import my animation. So I'll first go to File, and then New Anim Set. I'll just name it Horse Animation and press OK. Now when I go to the Anim tab, I can see my motion is selected, so now I can import in the FBX animation that I previously exported from 3D Exchange. Once it's imported, I'll make sure that my Anim set is selected, and then press play to preview the motion. To refine it a little, I want to turn off the Anim rotation only in the Anim set properties. 
Now when I preview once again, you'll see that the animation looks a bit more correct because the Unreal Engine isn't interfering in the motion. Next, I want to open the Animation Compression panel to resample the sequence. I'll just use an automatic compression algorithm and then select Apply to Sequence. Ok, it looks like my mesh and animation are all ready for use. If I want, I can get a better look at the horse by holding down the L key and moving the mouse around to test out different lighting. What I can do next is just drag my static and skeletal meshes into my scene. And there you have it. I can now position the objects anywhere I want them on the screen. One thing that is not in this tutorial, however, is how to set up the Unreal shader to enable opacity maps. You'll need to know this to deal with things like the horsetail and human hair. After that, I can use the Matinee and Kismet tools in the Unreal Development Kit to play the animations in the scene. You can use the exact same procedure that I used on the horse for any human character as well. And that's how easy it is to take any iClone content and bring it into the Unreal Game Engine.